This is a First Alert 5 weather alert. Good evening and thanks for joining us for News 5 on your Sunday. I'm Andy Cohen. We are on weather alert because of the high fire danger and we're going to get over to Casey in just a moment. But first, our top story tonight. Crews still fighting that brush fire on the south side of the Air Force Academy. This is video of the smoke plume from earlier this afternoon. At last check, that fire had burned at least 150 acres and there is no word on containment. Our Devin Carp was there at the scene earlier today and has more on everything that, we, that we've learned as of news time tonight. It's about like a mile or two away from the barns right now, so it's pretty close. Pikes Peak Rangerettes Ella and Anna jumped into action this afternoon when they saw smoke in the sky coming from the Air Force Academy. The young women were worried about the safety of the horses at the Academy stables. My mom's on a text thread that has everyone at the barn just like asking about like if we're going to evacuate or not. Just we saw the smoke. I've gotten a bunch of calls about it. The Air Force Academy says the brush fire started around 1 this afternoon, and by 1.38, the Colorado Springs Fire Department sent 31 firefighters to help. I know it's really windy out here, but our drone has been able to get up, um, to, get up to give you know our incident commanders a good look at, at the fire. Crews say winds at the fire post a challenge. It started on the south side of the academy. Forest Service crews joined the firefight after the flames spread into the Pike National Forest. The fire is approximately 150 acres. No homes are in danger at this time. However, pre-evacuation instructions are being disseminated. Both the Pine Village and the Douglas Village areas are on pre-evacuation notice. School District 20 has said that Douglas Valley Elementary School will be closed tomorrow. Air Academy High School will have a synchronous e-learning day. So we have two trailers that are three horse trailers. So we're deciding whether we should take her horse and then they can go back and get more horses. For now, Ella and Anna won't need to evacuate any animals as they wait to hear more information about how the fire's contained. It's a little stressful, just weird because like, um, not knowing. News 5's Devin Karp reporting that crews also fighting a larger 2,000 acre fire on the southeast training area of Fort Carson. That acreage is what we've been reporting all afternoon. We did reach out to the Mountain Post right before we went on air. They've not been able to confirm the size of that fire, whether it's grown or if there's been any containment made. And they did tell us that the fire started in an impact area, which is a space that is set aside for live fire training. No people or structures are currently in danger because that fire is under investigation. 